Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute Stata Tutorial Series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video we will be introducing the software. In this tutorial we will open the dataset, have a look at the data editor and save and exit. First open the software. For the tutorial videos we will be using Stata version 11. The Stata user interface has four panes. The command here, lower right, is where the user enter commands executed by the software. The review here, upper left, is where the history of commands is stored. The variable here, lower left, is where the list of variable names appear for an active dataset. This pane also includes information about the label and format for each variable. The output here, upper right, is where the text output from the software appears. Stata is mainly a command line software package, so users will mainly use the command pane here, lower right, but it is also possible to use the menus at the top of the window as in other window-based programs. For opening the dataset, we can go to File and Open, or, alternatively, you can type in Use, followed by the full path to the dataset. In this tutorial, we will be using the dataset Stata underscore tutorial. Stata data files have the extension .dta. Right, so once we've opened up the dataset, we can see that our variables and the respective labels for those variables appear in the lower left pane. Now, if we wanted to, to look at something in our variables, we, we could type the variable names. Alternatively, in Stata, you can also just click on the variable. So, for instance, for vote here, you can just click on vote, and then it appears in the command line. So the first thing we want to do is, if we wanted to have a look at the whole data matrix, we type the command browse like so and click enter and you see the whole data matrix where in the first row you have the variables and each of the columns you have the respective data for these variables. Now the rows represent cases or respondents for our data set. Instead of looking at the full data matrix if you just wanted to look at a couple of the variables you again type browse and then go over and let's say we wanted to look at the variables gender here click and age click on that and press enter and then you see that you only get the uh, columns for the variables that you requested so uh, uh, just a couple more hints uh, to uh, as an introduction to the software the first is for any of the commands that you've seen in this tutorial or any of the other tutorial videos you can just type help and then the name of the command and you get a pop-up window with the name of the command a description of the command uh, some of the options and also some of the examples Another thing to point out is that if you wanted to know a little bit more about your variables, you type the command codebook and the name of the variable. So let's say we wanted to look at the variable gender, so click on that. And what you see in the output pane is first the type, which is numeric for the variable gender and the label. So the variable is called gender. It ranges from 0 to 1 and uh, an important bit of information that you get is that 0 corresponds to female respondents and 1 corresponds to male respondents. So once you've done all of that you want to do with Stata then you want to exit. Now Stata doesn't allow you to exit without either saving the data set or clearing it. So to save it you would just click on this icon that looks a bit like a floppy disk. Alternatively, if you wanted to clear the dataset without saving, you just type in clear. And finally, to exit Stata, you type exit. So in this tutorial, we've learned how to open up a dataset, to have a look at the variables and the labels, to learn a little bit more about the variables looking at the codebook, and using the help window. So that's all for now, and um, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.